didn't have to even reveal this stuff. But I'm not lying about all of this. I just can't keep supporting or defending this behavior. I can't associate with it in any capacity. Y'all just don't understand how hard this is. I mean, I can't be associated with this, so I have to continue talking about it incessantly, nonstop, every day. Otherwise, everyone would think I'm associated with it. I have to show my disassociation by obsessing about it. You guys don't understand how hard it is to have such a demanding job like I have. I don't want to keep talking about this, but my job is making me. It's so hard. I'm, my boss is freaking insane. This is my experiences coming directly from my conversations with the family. Sure, much of my conversations with the family come to find out were allegedly lies, but but since like I lie a lot too, and they lie to me, well, two lies form a plus, so therefore you can trust it. I have blocked people that have spread conspiracy started by April Johns. April is a massive liar. I just wanted to see the hashtag on other platforms, but no one is giving out the hashtag on TikTok. People, a lot of people on TikTok deserve to be granted with the hashtag. It's like you antis aren't even against me anymore. I'm well aware that they do go after anyone that tells the truth. This is why I've been very reluctant to disconnect from them. I feared the retaliation, but I can't live in fear at all. See, when you're a reporter, you can't just stop reporting on someone and just walk away. It, it, this isn't real life, you know? This is make pretend world. So you have to do things with a dramatic flair. So my disconnecting from them can't just be simply disconnecting from them. I have to drag them. I have to call them all kinds of names. I have to try to sick authorities on them and, and accuse them of crimes. Otherwise, it's not real and nobody gets their wings. Yes, they lied to me about the relationship, which literally made me start to question everything. They thought they could just use me as, as some vessel or something to get out information that they want out. They thought that they could just tell me things that weren't true and just expect me to put them out there. I mean, sure, yeah, I, I still put them out there and everything. Of course I did that. All they had to do was just fill me in on all of this from the get-go. And I would have been happy to still put it out there. But they couldn't, they couldn't make me an accomplice. The first rule of Barbara Walters journalism is you're always made an accomplice and you always take things personally. And then you drag them when they lie to you. Mm -hmm. I learned from the best. I thought she wasn't allowed to go to New Orleans because of the bars. Another lie? No, she can't to certain establishments that only sell alcohol. Not all of New Orleans is a bar. But Russian lakes are made out of vodka. In Colorado, it's just rolling green hills of CBD farms and, and THC prairies, tended to by Jerry Garcia, of course. And Nessie swims in the beautiful waters of Johnny Walker, blue. There is verified medical abuse that occurred. Not all the procedures were needed, so I do not want to go down that route. Doctors, experts have reviewed the records. I'm aware that a small percentage of people believe she was never medically abused. This just isn't true. How the fuck did that get there? She needed the medical procedures. Corrected. I'm so confused, et cetera, et cetera. Why didn't the journalistic integrity kick in sooner? It had kicked in. I couldn't just remove myself without being very careful. She's dangerous. It did kick in. It just kicked in a door to a vacant fucking house. Please turn your volume up. Thank you, and thank you for the video. Volume is normal. My volume is just fine. But perhaps you should go out and get yourself some hearing aids. You're welcome. Fuck you. She has a high palate. This deletion doesn't cause cleft palate. It causes high palates and a narrow chin line. Just because she's a convicted felon doesn't mean she can't be a mother. That's just fucked up to say. Gypsy is the reason that she won't be a good mother. And her conviction has everything to do with it. Only losers get convicted. It's everything. That happened to me, but I wasn't dodging service. Not that Ryan is trying to not get divorced. They're going to his apartment. I have all the service attempts. Not because he's locked up in the basement or anything. It's not like his name's Brian. Weren't you working with this family? What went wrong? 
Oh, crusty and grifty, not what you expected? Maybe you should watch the video and listen. No need for the snark. Someone's gonna get blocked, you piece of Gruella, clown, fun size, Florida, chuckle patch. How do you trick men in prison? She had a ton of sugar daddies. <laughs> okay, now, I think Katie knows that they're not technically sugar daddies because you see, in order for them to be sugar daddies, you have to be able to give them your sugar. Well, Gypsy's in prison. She couldn't give them her sugar. So they're what we call splendid daddies. And I think Katie kind of knows about them because, well, rumor has it that these types of guys refer to themselves as splendid daddies after meeting Katie because, well, they compared it to as if they ate a whole bag of sugar-free Hasbro gummy bears. In fact, I think one of them might have even left a review on Amazon. <laughs> Allegedly, in my opinion, you know the drill. You don't have to be four or five days late, though. Sorry, it's been 11 years for me. And I'm not about to believe that technology progressed without my uterus. That part was personal and not relevant to her answers. I only shared what is relevant to Gypsy. No, I think you have enough context. You don't need my contribution to the conversation to provide more. I'm sure that you didn't kill your mother and grow up malingering and shoplifting as a child. I trust you are not in need of the therapy she needs. Unless you have and you do. I mean, in which case, I think you should maybe reach out to me in DMs. I mean, we can talk. There's no saying we're going to be besties, but we can try. And really, providing your story is good and interesting, well, just know, I'll have your back. We had so much fun. Zohar will be back. I'm going to call Agent Steve now, and I'm going to tell him that one of you people hacked into my YouTube comments. Mm -hmm. it's, it's ringing. I guess Ryan was told by the family that Gypsy wasn't abused and that Gypsy was more involved in the crime than she claims. Because that's what family does for one another. They don't go run into the cops or anything. Instead, they call your soon-to-be ex-husband and tell him. She flashed someone in a bar pregnant? Oh my! Before she was pregnant. And, if, and even if she was pregnant, well, they're still her tits until the baby's born. Fantastic honesty! I try. And this is like one of those times where everyone gets a trophy. It's not measured by your success. It's measured by how hard you try. I didn't believe he left anyway. He's not that type of person. When, when I met him, he seemed like a stand-up guy. That was a few years back, but yeah, he's not that type. He's the type to resolve issues, not create them. He went to one of his family members' house, so he's lying. Yeah, so like if you're a grown-ass man and you leave your family to go visit like your birth family or whatever, that's abandonment. And it... It's just for husbands, though. It's even worse when it comes to, like, your own kids. Like, if your kid spends the night at a friend's house, well, then he's a runaway. Double jeopardy, or can the feds retry in another state? Double jeopardy doesn't apply to federal cases. I knew it. I knew that out of all the federal amendments that the fifth one was not federal. Plead the fifth. I plead the fifth. Where are you going to plead the fifth to, huh? Not to federal. He showed up in their live. They didn't ask him to come. Had they asked, though... No one would have showed up, probably. They don't, they don't like to be asked or begged or pleaded or threatened or blackmailed or anything. They won't show up for a live stream then. No, Gypsy is controlled by no one. She is a sociopath. Unlike me, who's controlled and manipulated by everyone. Gypsy needs to marry a Duggar and have a TLC super show. Oh my god, knife. Skull crossbones. Oh, those emojis in no way mean gypsy. Go do your thing. She has to be pregnant, yada, yada, yada. The family thinks she used her friend's urine. Her friend is pregnant. Such a great friend. What's she going to wonder for the birth next? For real, if Jip were my daughter, she would be at home working a regular job for minimum wage and earning her way through life. No matter who my kids are, I'm always going to think that they're capable of murder. And it won't have anything to do with the fact that they had to sit back and watch me make bank while I make them work minimum wage. 
This is accurate. My bad on getting this detail wrong. I do believe that at some point she will be fitted for one. At least, the rumor is that it's coming. But who knows? The rumors in this family change daily because they all lie. Yeah, apparently they're just, they're trying to find a really good ankle monitor seamstress to get her fitted. They're not that common anymore. Hi, time for member shout outs. I'd like to thank... Data J, Taboo Topics, A. Marie, Sunshine and Rain, Kevin to Snickers, Joanne Cochran, The Learner Lawyer, Tammy Sue, Elizabeth Rodna, Hank, Texas, DC, Miss L85, Renell Smith, April Penrod, Tiffany Hoff, Kentucky Girl, Tax Max Vax Thunderclap, Fayette, Edward Catbush, Sally Godfrey, Maps Cash, Cheryl, Mr. Black Wolf, Rhonda Smith, Estella Havisham, Lazy Wolf, Queen Donnie, Tequila Alive in Mexico, Rena Rue, Linda Reese, Channel has been deleted. Nana Hawk, Leah, Sean Coffey, Cheryl Tobiason, Crafty Florida Lady, Sakara Bear, Sassy Elmo, Flying Mom Laura, Verver, Virilian, Purple Dragon Shill, I'm Fucking Reagan, Oz Bell, Sunny D, Ginger Art, and Poodle Thank you very much for joining, and thank you everyone for watching. Oh.